Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Epix Pro Gen 2 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the uh, Garmin Connect application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue and now uh, we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for your phone and the Garmin Connect application to send the notifications to your watch. And to do it, find the Garmin Connect application icon and press and hold on it. Then tap on App Info. And here tap on Permissions. Oh, my bad. Permissions. Here we have the list of permissions that are allowed and not allowed. And I recommend to allow the SMS, phone, nearby devices, contacts, call logs and calendar. You can skip the contacts if you want to, but I recommend to allow them. And to allow the permissions, simply tap on the permission and select allow. This one is allowed already, but by default, it probably will be on don't allow. So select allow, and then it will jump to the allowed list. So once you allow all of the permissions, go back and close this page. Now open the settings on your device, on your phone. In settings, we need to find the uh, notification access or device and app notifications. On the older versions of Android, it's gonna be called allow notification access. On the newer versions of Android, it's gonna be called device and app notifications. I have uh, Android 12, I believe, so we're gonna type on search, or the tap on search, type in uh, device and app. Oh, my bad. I was end. As you can see, here we have the option device and app notifications. So we can tap on it, tap on it here, and you will see this list. Basically, we have allowed apps and not allowed. And on this list, what you need to do is to find the connect application, tap on it, and you need to, you need to enable the option allow notification access. This option needs to be enabled. So make sure it is enabled. Once you enable it, we can close the settings. And now we can open the Garmin Connect application. Okay. And in the app, you should see the home screen. Now tap on more, Garmin devices. You should see your X Epix Pro selected. And here scroll through the list of options and find the notifications and alerts. Tap on it, of course. Here select smart notifications. Make sure that the status is switched to on. And once you switch it on, you will see the uh, general use and during activity. General use is basically when you're using your watch normally. Uh, and during activity is when you're uh, recording or tracking activity on your watch, like cycling, running and stuff like that. First, let's tap on general use. Here we can also turn on and off the notifications. So basically for the general use of your watch, you can disable them if you don't like to uh, see the notifications, but we're gonna keep them enabled. And here we have different types of notifications. We have calls, and here we can also disable the notifications for calls, enable them, enable the sound for them, the beep or the vibration. So you can customize it a little. You can do the same for the texts and the apps. Next, we have the privacy option. This allows you to select, uh, oh my bad, privacy. Allows you to select press start or with wrist gesture. Basically, um, the content of the notification will be obscured. And if you select press start option, you will need to press the start button to display it or wrist gesture. You will need to uh, pre perform wrist gesture. I don't remember uh, how it works, but I believe you need to flick it basically. Okay, next we have the timeout option and this option allows you to I choose for how long the notification stays on the screen when you get it. And you have 30 seconds, one minute, and three minutes. So select the option you like. And once you're done with the general use, go back, select during activity, and here we can do the same stuff. We can uh, customize the uh, calls, uh, texts, apps, and timeout. Okay, and once you're done customizing your notification settings, you can go back to the main page, uh, sync the watch with your phone by tapping on this button right here, 
and once it's done syncing you should be able to receive the notifications on your watch so i'm gonna send myself a message on discord And we got the notification on our phone, as you can see, and also on our watch. If you miss the notification on your watch, you can wake up the screen on it and then swipe up and down on the home screen, the current watch face to open the glances. Scroll through the list of glances. You should see the notification one Select it, And here we have our notifications. OK, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video, helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video